So in this video and a few next a few videos, we're going to look at numerical methods for solving ordinary differential equations. Now, of course, uh, this is a humongous topic, and this is an introductory course in numerical analysis where this is a video part of that. So we're not really going to be looking at major methods. Mainly, we're going to look at methods for solving first order uh, differential equations. Now, remember, first order differential equations, a quick uh, refresher for you, uh, is basically an equation that has x and uh, uh, y essentially. So y dash is equal to xy and it has an initial condition um, uh, defined as this. So usually that's uh, what a differential equation, a first order differential equation looks like. And the equations we're gonna solve are going to be uh, these types of equations. Now, what you notice here is, the, uh, is basically the, the, the left hand side of this equation is a first order derivative. So we'll start the topic, the, the first topic that we'll look at under this area uh, is so numerical differentiation. Uh, to start with, let's have a quick, again, find something called the forward difference operator, which is basically d plus and it's equal to this. This is called, oh, I'm only talking about this piece here. This is called the forward difference operator and whatever it operates on, Basically, uh, what it does to the function is says, well, what is the difference between a slight increment in the value of x divided by the increment itself? In other words, slight change in x divided by the change, which is, in theory, the concept of the derivative. Okay, And that's also the tangent, uh, the slope of the tangent line, in fact, uh, is that as well. Anyway, uh, so... Um, the next thing we want to, of course, associate this with is the Taylor's theorem. So some confirmations that this is, in fact, the idea is, in fact, related to numerical differentiation, and it is a reasonable approximation. If we do the Taylor series expansion of this, we see that f of x plus h is, in fact, equal to f of x plus h f uh, dash of x plus h squared over two f double prime of theta one, some value theta one, uh, close to, uh, clo between x and x plus uh, h, of course. Uh, so just to be sure, let me just tell you, theta one is something between x and of course, x plus h. Okay, so anyway, that would be the Taylor series expansion. And of course, you can, in fact, rewrite this as, uh, just, you know, you can see clearly that f of x plus h minus f of x uh, is equal to this. And if I divide by h, then this is just going to be f dash on this side plus h, uh, sorry. See, this will disappear. So this will become h over 2 f double prime at theta 1. Okay. And what is this, in fact? It's just d plus. So that tells us that d plus f of x is, in fact, f prime of x plus h over 2 f double prime of theta 1. So this tells us that the, <clears throat> the error in the four difference operator is of the order of h, this uh, that you see here. Now, in a similar way, uh, we could do something which is instead of, in fact, going x plus h, what if we went x minus h? That would still be uh, the same sort of a ratio but this is, gives rise to something called the backward difference operator, okay? So in a similar way, we can do a similar error analysis to get an idea of how accurate this uh, operator is or this forward difference approximation is, or backward difference, sorry. And if we do the Taylor series again of this in the similar way, we get uh, f dash x here. And see the negative sign, that's the, the main difference. Nothing else is different. Um, and of course, this will be f double prime at uh, theta 2, let's say, all right, where theta 2 is something that belongs to between x minus h and x, in fact. Okay, so, so basically uh, that, and of course, if I rearrange again, you can see that I bring the fx to this side, divide across by the h, and we get d minus, similar to before, d minus of x is equal to f dash x minus, okay, h over 2, f double prime of theta 2 when you rearrange the equation in this case. Keep uh, careful about the negative sign. So here, we, we can see that this is also error 
here is order h also. Don't worry too much about the negative sign. That's not really that important. What's important is that the error is again uh, order h. So this is just very quickly the forward difference and backward difference operators that are used actually in numerical differentiation quite regularly. There's also something called the central difference operator, um, but we're not going to uh, be looking at that. Let's move on. Uh, so this brings us uh, then to quickly to let's apply this in fact to the uh, differential equation, the problem in fact. So let's do that. So first, um, the points that we're going to sign, remember this is a, remember always, y is a function of x. That is the situation. So our input input variable or the deep, independent variable is x in this case. So basically, uh, if you think about it, um, x0 is your initial point. So that's your initial condition. And um, the next point will be x1 would be x0 plus h, of course. Okay. And similarly, the point after that, x2 will be um, x1 uh, plus h, which is actually just x0 plus 2h, right? And in a similar way, we get x3, and we see a pattern developing here. So x0, we expect it to be 3h. So this means that xn, in fact, we have a quick formula for that, which is xn is equal to x0 plus nh. So this can generate our input values for us, okay? And we call these xn's the mesh points. These are called mesh points, okay? Next thing is, uh, let's attack the differential equation now. So if we were to apply the forward difference operator on y on uh, with xn, of course, then that would be, should be approximately equal to f at xn and y at xn, as shown here in the definition of the, of the equation. Now what, does, what that means is that we will then replace of course, the four difference operator, what is it saying? Well, it's saying that y at xn plus 1 minus y at xn, okay, divided by h, okay, is equal to, uh, divided by h, is now approximately, well, it is still approximate, remember, f of xn, y of xn. Now, at this stage, I'm going to introduce... Uh, notation, which is I'm going to say that y of xn, okay, is equivalent to yn. So this is something, this is a notational convenience. I'm introducing this. So now what happens here is this means yn plus 1. Now I'm going to take the h to the other side. So this will become yn uh, plus h f xn yn. So we end up with this. Now, this is basically a difference equation, and um, for each of the x, each value that it generates, okay, is an actual solution to the problem, okay, is an actual solution to the problem at the particular value the, of xn that is chosen. So, uh, in essence, this is uh, the first numerical method, uh, in fact, and it's called Euler's method.